Hello everyone, welcome back to this very much dying channel where today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on this very legendary plane, the Convair 880, which was made by Snag and I. And as you can see, the, the heads are quite messed up. This is supposed to be cobblestone, but, well, it's, it's not cobblestone. Instead, it's Steve. Steve is the exhaust. That's just perfect. But... I am making this plane because it seems like it's kind of easy and well it's, it's quite iconic so it does really like fit in so yeah I already laid out some dimensions for myself so I just don't die I've already memorized some bits and pieces like the landing gear uh, part uh, whatever and then I'll get straight into the stuff yeah yeah basically um i'll do a little showcase before we get into this plane i'll do a quick one we got the nose made by metal snag and it's kind of rem resembles the shape of the convair 880 we also got this little door here this is r1 and this is l1 yep i'm not confusing them like in the last video this is l2 and this is r2 got this wing here it's similar to the 707's wing uh we got the um, General Electric, um, CJ805s. Yep, I actually know the engine type, when, when no, most people don't, but nobody asked. We got this landing gear, which is very cursed, because it has Steve's head. And then we have the tail come, with the stabilizers and stuff. And, well, you know, this was made by Snag, because I suck at tail cones, and he is pretty fucking good with them. So yeah, with all that done, and that quick shitty showcase done, we're gonna get straight into this tutorial. Okay, so first, we're gonna make our landing gear, so grab out your black wool, sit down, get a stone button, and then place it on either side, get your cobblestone wall, place it down, and then... And then after that, you're going to um, kind of make a fuselage bit. Well, you're going to grab your quartz slab and then place it on either side. Just taking a look at the plane so I can not die. And then you're going to grab your purple slab and then place it right above like this, like so, and then place two more. And there you go, that you got this nose shape. So yeah, and then you're gonna get your lever, and then place it this way. There you go, that is your landing gear. Um, we're gonna work on this, this first layer and stuff. So yeah, this is like the, the first layer. We already got the landing gear. I'll get the main gear once we get to the wing, but yes, um, this is the first layer. We're gonna we're gonna put grab our stairs and then place them backwards like this, and then after that we're going to place a block. Well, I'm gonna get my wool because it's pointless with this with the slabs and stuff. Okay, there we go. That is. That is the stuff. Next, we're gonna grab your purpose slab. Then we're gonna put a block right there. And then put a block right there again. And then after, we're gonna just put a slab there. And that is, is starting to look like the beginning of our nose. Now after this, you're gonna grab your light wool and then place 26 blocks in line. So 1, 2, 3, 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21, 20, fuck, 22. This is 22, don't get confused. 23, 24, 25, and 26. I suck at counting. Guys, um... Yeah, once you've done that, we're just going to repeat this on the other side, because we can. So I just have to put the stair right there, and then repeat this. So, 
Yeah. And there we go. We're gonna do this in the center too, because we have to. There we go. That's the... That is the, like, fuselage layer done. Now, there are, like, trap doors under the part right here, so... Now, for the trap door bit, first we're gonna grab our purple stairs and then place them right under here, right next to this cobblestone wall. Then grab your trap doors and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. Grab your purple slab. This is gonna be the beginning of the wing box. Uh, put one right there, and then we're going to go out, and then continue by 11, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, then we're going to put 2 going in, like that, and then we're just going to fill it in at the bottom, and then we're going to repeat this on the other side. Now, we're not finished yet. There is a little part that's under the wing box. So, okay. So, for this, uh, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the seventh block right here, we're going to put four slabs in line. So, one, two, three, four, and f yeah, that, that just like that. That is the wing box. Now that we've got that done, we can continue on the rest of this layer right here. Okay, so we're going to grab our white wool, place it right there, put a purple slab, and then put this on the other side. And then you're going to put a, purple, uh, a quartz slab right there. And then we are going to put a slab there and a quartz slab right there, like so. And then we're going to grab our purple slab and then place it right here. And after that, we're going to put our slab, another slab in line, like so. And then put a, um, actually, that's, that's done. Okay. <laughs> that's layer one. This was a tedious process. I don't know if it really was, but... That's layer one done. It wasn't that hor horrid of, of making it. So, with that done, we can move on to layer two, which is basically completing the nose. And then we're going to just. Well, not really completing the nose. It's more just like making parts of the nose. But, you know, that we're just going to continue with the basic stuff with the layers because it's it's more easier okay with that being said let's get straight into layer two now for layer two we're gonna put a slab well slab right on top of this to access to that access the tip of the nose and then we're gonna put two white wools in line like so and then put a purple slab right there right above the stair right here that we put earlier right after that we're gonna put our white wool right next to that slab and then after that, we're going to put another white wool, and then we're going to grab our quartz, and then we're going to put it right there, like so. And just put this, in. yeah, put, put, put another quartz below that, because I kind of forgot that. And then right after that, put another white wool. Now after you've done this, uh, done that, you're going to grab your purple stairs, and then we're going to put them, put 23 in line, facing this way, like so. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And, like that, we've made our windows. So, yeah. Basically, that's how we get windows. <laughs> yeah. Now we're just going to repeat this on the other side, like so. So, two white walls, one block of quartz, one white wall, and then um, 23 stairs. So, one, two, three. Wow, I suck. 
Okay, this is three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. There we go. That's that's done. Oh wow, the server is okay. There we go. Now that's done. We can move on to the to the back of this. So once we've done that, we're gonna put one white wall like that. And then put one block of quartz, and then after that, another white wool like so. Grab your uh, purple stairs, place one like that right there. Grab your white wool, place it right there, and then put your purple slab just like that. And then you're gonna put your uh, a block of wool right there. And then after that, you're gonna put a purple stair right there, and then finish it off with one two three more like that and there you go that's some of the tail cone done and on the layer two done i'll just do this on the other side so you get a better understanding okay that's it that's that's the layer two now that we've done it we can move on to Le layer three that was cringy okay okay in all seriousness we're gonna move on to layer three and then i think after that we're just gonna finish off the rest of the fuselage now for layer three we are going to grab your stairs and then you're going to basically you're gonna well first grab uh, your white wall two white walls right there slab right there delete these white walls two white walls there put a backwards facing stair like so we're gonna remove this bottom one this, this one is necessary we're gonna actually keep it we're gonna put another white wool like that in line grab your quartz slab put it on top of this um, quartz um, right here and then after that you're gonna grab your um, you're gonna grab your white wall, place one there, and then you're gonna put 28 more in line. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27, 28. There you go, that's, well, I don't think that's 29, eh? Okay, uh, this is, this is 28. So put one more there, that, that's 29. I don't know how I messed up there. So that's, that's, that's 29. So you should end at this spot right here. Now, once you finish that off, we're gonna grab our white wall again, and then put three in line like so. Right after that, put your purple slab right there, and there you go. That's 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 kind of it. And yeah, I'll do this on the other side so you can get a better understanding without my squeaky voice. Okay. There you go that is pretty much layer three done so yeah we are going to uh, we're uh, we're gonna just move on to layer four and then i think this is just gonna finish the top of the fuselage and then we're gonna make the tail for you guys well the vertical stabilizer but yeah okay now for layer four you're gonna grab your bridge trap door Put it on top of this stair right here and then you're gonna put your purple slab and then you're gonna put 27 more in line like so one two three four five five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven that there we go that's twenty seven so yeah 
we're, we're next gonna make the, the, the little hump right there on the plane. So yeah, okay. Now for the little hump we have on the thingy, we're gonna count one, two, and then on, well, I deleted the blocks because I was doing a take before, but I miserably failed. But you should have a slab here, and what's on the third slab, we're gonna break it and then put white wool under it. Now we're gonna go under here and then place 13 more of these white wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, once we've done that, you're gonna remove the rest of these slabs. And then you're gonna grab out your snow and then put out six snow layers. Yeah, that's six. And then, yeah, once you've done that, put 13 more. So for me, I'm using the replacer tool so it's just not living hell. So we got this. That's the replacer tool. That's literally how the hump, that's literally the hump done. So, yeah, now that we've got, well, I think you can put a trap door. No, you can't. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's that's how the hump is made. And, then, and that, that, com that com pretty much concludes layer four. And then we can, I'm gonna just show you how you can make the stabilizer okay so first of all we're gonna put a uh white wall there and put another one diagonally like so and then repeat that so we have three diagonal and then after that we're going to put another one and then put a purple slab on top right after that put one put a wool right on this slab put another one on top and then just put two more diagonal, like so. And then right after that, you're gonna just put one in line, like so. And then right after that, you're going to put four under it. Well, you're gonna put three under it, so. One, two, three. And then you're gonna go in like that, so. This is gonna be one, two, three, and a half. And then gonna do that so that's how you make the tail thingy I'm just gonna fill this in that was my doorbell don't ask so once we fill that then that is the vertical stabilizer and now I'm gonna be showing you how to make the horizontal stabilizer okay now for the horizontal stabilizers um yeah basically we're gonna put a cobblestone slab right there like so and then go diagonally and then put two like that so it becomes this and then we're gonna go up like so like kind of like well in this sort of fashion just diagonally up so yeah and then we're gonna put another one diagonally and then we're going to put another one up like that so you get this kind of ab absurd little flex on the stabilizer. Now, right after that, you're going to grab out your smooth stone slab. And then you're going to put two in line like so. And then repeating that, you're going to put another two. Th you're going to put three in line. And then you're going to do something like this. So it becomes a, a sort of layering thingy. Then, right after that, you're going to put a slab right under here and then you'll put another slab put one right there put another two like that meet this one right here so it does yeah that so right after that we're gonna descend this one and then put it there or well actually I think you're gonna make it go in like this and then repeating that we're going to put you're gonna grab out your smooth stone and then we're gonna put, well, I don't think I can do this properly, can I? You're just gonna meet this, meet it like that, and then repeat it on, like, like, like this. Actually, it's actually two for this one, so, so, yeah, like that. Something I didn't really see with, like, the tail cone is, like, this part. You're gonna have to make this 
Yeah, you're gonna have to make that, so, well, I think it's just like that. Yeah, it's like that. So there you go, that's the, that's the horizontal stabilizer. Now I'm just gonna show you the elevators. Now to make the elevators, grab your stone brick slab, put two, in, uh, like that, and then put an L shape like this, just, 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 just like that, yeah. So, yeah, once you've done that, put another one like that. Then I'm going to repeat this on the other side without hopefully looking on that plane, because it's, it's, it's a bit hard to do. That's what she said. Okay. Yeah, one thing I forgot to mention was the fact that there's layering on the underside of this part. So I'll do something like that, and then we should be good. And then, boom, there you go. That's layering, I guess, but it's pretty much how you do it. So then we're going to make the elevators. There you go. That is the horizontal stabilizer. And with that making me just feel like... Like I'm going through hell. This is probably gonna have the same effect with the wings, even just worse. But there, that's the stabilizers done. We've got it like we got about halfway through. Now we just have to make the wings, which is gonna be a bit of a harder part. So yeah. So yeah, um, I'm back from zoning out. All right, we're gonna get our wand tool and then we're going to select it right there and, and, and anywhere in the middle. And then we're gonna do it until it's 19. And then we're gonna set. This is just my thing. This is so I can just see the outline of the wing and such, so yeah. Firstly, where the f first part of the wing is placed, um, yeah, it's gonna be placed right here. Right, yeah. And then once you've placed that part, t torch, hell yeah. Arrow team has this sort of, uh, I don't know, it has this kind of design for, like, the torch, and it looks just freaking awesome, so we have this little torch on the, the, the aircraft and such, so there. Then we're going to just, um, then we're going to put two more diagonally like this. There you go, that's, that's the, some of the wing done. After that, gr um, we're going to put two diagonally like this, so like that. And then we're going to put, we're going to move up the, the, the wing like that and then we're gonna put three diagonally again like so then after that we're gonna put two like that S simple huh yeah a dubs pull or uh, yeah we're gonna move up the the wing and such and we're gonna put three and we're gonna put two that and at the end we usually put smooth stone because the like, slats don't go this far i believe and then we're gonna put four so this is four yeah that is some of the wing that's like the outline at least done but yeah 
Firstly, we're going to get our smooth stone and then put ten. Well, not ten. I think it's like only seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like so. Put put two, and then we're gonna put one under here because th there's like there's apparently like underwing stuff. So we're gonna do that. So you have this shape. And then we're just gonna replace this part with stone bricks. So yeah. After your your dumbass did that, we're going to um we're gonna put five trap doors on top. So one, two, three, four, five. That's that's literally the wing. That that's yeah, that's that's the first layer out of like maybe a few million. Yeah, that's accurate. Um now for the second. This time we're gonna put seven again, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then um, after that, we're gonna put two, like that. And then, mm hmm. Yeah, like, like that. And then, well, put three, like so. And then we're gonna grab our stone brick slabs. And then I think you put a. A, it's some stone there because it acts as speed break since now we're gonna put seven again so one two three four five six seven and then put there and then we're gonna do this there you go that's that that's like this is cu quite easy so far and it's not that really retarded but it, it's it's somewhat retarded all right now for this layer here we're gonna put one and then we're gonna put Three, and then we're gonna put three again, like so. Then after that, we're going to put, yeah, like that. So we're just, mm, that's how you do the little fourth layer. Now we're gonna move on to the fifth. Fifth layer, we're gonna put one, two, three, four, five. And then put two, and then under here we have two again. So that's, there's that. So yeah, that's that's um the thingy. Now we just put our stone bricks, and then we put I think we I think we put a stone slab right here. Now we're gonna put one, two, three, four, five, and then put one under here. And then, yep, that that's how it's done my boys that, that is the um i don't know how many layers but it th this is how you do it yeah that this is this is really simple in my opinion it's, it's it's super easy now we're gonna put one two three four and then five and then put one under here and then we're gonna put this there i think yeah and then we're um slab there now we're gonna just do the same thing we did except this one goes up like so and then we're just gonna there we go that is we've got like half of the wing done and this is like pretty easy so yeah now for this one um now for this one we're gonna put one and then we're gonna put two and then we're gonna put two like so and then I think we put this there, like so. Yeah, I say like so a lot, but just like popped up. Okay, but that's another story. So after that, we're going to put one, two, three, four, and then two, like that. And then, well, and then we do um, this, like that. There you go. That's very, very simple. Simple stuff as always. Funny! Oh, that was very awkward, but yeah, now we're. Okay, then we're gonna. One, two, three, four. Boom! There you go. That's. That's this layer done. Now we just put s some stone brick slabs like that. And there you go. That is. Uh, that layer done. Now we just move on to this layer. Okay, we're gonna one, two, three, and then, and then um, 
Uh, I think we do that. Okay, never mind. Um, we're gonna have to replace this one with a sl um a slab, and then we're just gonna we're gonna do that. There you go. That's that's done. Now moving on to the next layer. With the next layer, we're just gonna do this. There you go. That's the entire wing done. I think we have to. Actually, no. The underwing layering is actually done. So there you go. That's the wing. I am not repeating this on the other side because it's the, the recording is almost an hour now. It's fifty minutes. Um, if you have any access to World Edit or something like that, um, or if you're on, yeah, if you if you're building this, you most likely have access to World Edit. So um. Yeah, you're gonna just select your positions. Well, f firstly, we're gonna have to make the engines. So for that, I'm gonna grab our materials. We're gonna need a jumper trap door. Um, we need also need some wool. And we need some black wool. And then we're gonna... Then we're gonna get our cobblestone head, even though most of you, I know, don't have access to this. And then we're gonna get cobblestone wall. And then on this blocky here, we're gonna put two, two, and then like this, and then we just that's and then Um, you're gonna get your cobblestone wall, and then there you go. That's the engine, and then you're d you're gonna do that. That that's the engine. Now we're gonna have to repeat this on here, but then it's gonna be a bit different. So. Okay, so get this thingy and then um fuck. Yeah, I'm I'm kinda muffed up a bit. Oh. Oh and also that's how it's done. Yeah. Do that because I missed that part. Okay, um much more easier to do it without my voice there you go that's that's the engines F then we're gonna have to make the the, the main landing gear which i kind of forgot so so 17 blocks away from the main landing gear well from the nose gear we're gonna end up here yeah and then we're gonna so once we end up here this is this is 17 uh, we're gonna put the main landing gear right here. Pretty sure, well, yeah, like that. Then you're gonna grab your button. Put this on either side. Then you're gonna grab your birch trap door. Put that there. And then you're going to just grab your cobble. Well, I don't think that's the case. Yeah, instead you're gonna put it here, and then you're gonna grab your stair, put it right there. And then you're gonna grab your cobblestone, and then, well, cobblestone head, and then you put it there. That's the main landing gear. It's it's kind of simple, it's kind of not, but that's the landing gear. Um, yeah, just like that. Now, if you have access to world edit, you're gonna just
you're gonna do that and then you're gonna and then you're gonna and then once you've done that you're gonna go on the other side and then you're just going to there you go that's we finished the plane and well it wasn't that There we go. Now we finished the plane. And, well, I hope you are happy that you just completed a Ecleptics airplane. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is, this is quite an achievement for me. I mean, I usually don't do tutorials. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really bad at tutorials sometimes, but I'm actually really proud of myself for finishing this aircraft and actually, like, making it correctly. So yeah, that that has been this tutorial for this Convair 880. I hope you have enjoyed. Let me know if if please consider subscribing because hours of work goes into these builds and hours of work go into these tutorials and hours of work goes into the editing. And like I hope you enjoyed this one. Please consider subscribing. This channel is dead. So yeah, we would really appreciate it. And, well, we would appreciate it also, because this, this is hard work, just stemmed from me. Yeah, basically something like that. If you didn't like this video, just let me know in the comments what I can fix about it. And I'll just listen to your feedback, and then, yeah, I, I kind of missed up some parts, but easily fixed. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.